What is going on boys and girls, it's Juliano back here with a brand new video and today an unfortunate thing has happened, FIFA has died because uh, I'm recording this Monday 4th, I've just gone on to um, Ultimate Team and the weekend league is no more, not until FIFA 18 comes out in 25 days, so just over 3 weeks is the new game and uh, yeah, yeah, Ultimate Team is going to be dead. FIFA's going to be dead, YouTube's going to be dead, um, but I'm still going to be making videos for you guys because I enjoy it, it's so much fun, I like playing these new, these different players, you know, they're a little bit cheaper at this present minute because not many people are playing the game, but also it does make it harder to buy players, um, like the Inform Morata, I was looking at him earlier, for Chelsea, it's, like, it's more expensive than the 90 rated Diego Costa, who's 4 ratings higher, it's just mental, it is absolutely ridiculous. But today we are building you a squad and bringing you a video on the Inform um, Adu Vargas. But for FIFA Legend, in my opinion, uh, he had a sick card over at QPR when he were in the Premier League, like FIFA 12, FIFA 13. Um, and he's got himself an Inform this week when he's playing for Tigres in the Mexican League. So I thought I'd bring you guys a video on him in a 4-3-1-2. And in goal, we do go for the current Man City, former SL Benfica goalkeeper Edison. His team this is an 89 rated card. Looks insane. 90 diving, 95 reflexes, 89 handling, 72 speed, 92 kicking and 86 positioning. He took for two as well. Um, I remember being pretty poor when I first played with him. Um, but I'm hoping he's changed a little bit, or the mechanics have changed, or, or I've changed my FIFA style since I used him. Um, he's half the price of what I paid for him at that point. He was at 95k. He's now only 42, which is lovely. At right back, we go for a um, a cheap guy who's actually got himself a, a special card, which I could have gone and picked up, but I just didn't really feel like I've got in my club. It is Ignacio Abate, 88 pace, 76 dribbling, 73 defending, and 77 physical. He's there for pure pace. Um, to be honest, I didn't even have a look how much his foot birthday card is worth, um, and I don't know why I've done it like that. What am I doing? Concepts. Let's have a look. How much is he worth? Oh, he's only worth 36k, 34. Uh, a change of heart live on video. I've never seen it before, guys. 34k. We'll buy him. He's in the squad. Makes the squad even more beautiful. Um, and well, we get rest of the team, we'll realise that this, this team is absolutely beautiful. Left back, we go for another for birthday card, and it is Ashley Cole, or Cashley Cole, as he's nicely called. And uh, I've completely forgot to go through Abate's stats. We've upgraded him now. He's got 94 pace. He's got 83 dribbling, 81 defending, 81 passing, and 80 physical. As you saw me there, buying him for 34 and a half thousand coins. So he's pretty much, he's a bargain really, at right back for that for that price. That is an absolute bargain, absolute steal. Uh, left back, we go for Cashley Cole, or Ashley Cole, as, we, as people you know should call him, but I call him Cashley. 85 pace, 83 dribbling, 84 defending, 85 passing, and 77 physical. A nice upgrade from his 73 rated silver um, card. You know, it's a pretty big jump. And he's only worth 30,250 coins, which is a pretty decent bargain, in my opinion. He's obviously played in such a poor league and no one wants him. Two centre-backs, we go for Jardel, getting that perfect link to the goalkeeper. 63 pace, 84 defending, and 82 physical. And partnering up next to him, it is my SBC Miranda. 76 pace, 80, uh, 92 defending, and 81 physical. A beast card, he's 6 foot 1. Jardel is 6 foot 4. And now Jardel was the only non-special card in the team. I could have gone for Tim Lewis and Lewis Sal, but he's got 39 pace, and it was one of them on the market for 90,000 coins, and I'm not an idiot. I'm not paying that. That is absolutely mental to pay that for a card. First central midfielder we go for is our footies Florenzi, the, uh, the pink beautiful card. I love that design. 89 pace, 88 dribbling, 85 shooting, 83 defending, 86 passing, and 84 physical. Uh, well, a well in a well in the holy game. He is absolutely insane. Looking at his card, twelve games played, three goals, one assist from midfield. Ain't too bad, especially because he's meant to be a, a DM or a DM a right back. Uh, in the middle, we go for Paul's goals. I've got him there on loan. I might as well use him. Sixty-nine pace, seventy-eight dribbling, eighty-five shooting, eighty-nine passing, seventy-nine physical. Such an average-looking card, but he's just such a beast. He's so good. I I don't know what it is about him. But he's just a phenomenal card. And the final member of the team, you can see it coming, it is our end of an era, Steven Gerrard. Again, my poor attempt of a Scouse accent. I can't say his name without without trying to be Scouse. It's just a, it's just a force of habit. The amount of YouTube videos and vines and memes that have, have tainted my brain since uh, since he's been around in football, since I've been a football fan. Um, but his card is phenomenal. 84 pace, 85 dribbling, 84 defending, 74 pass, uh, sorry, 74 shoot, uh, 74, what am I about? 94 shooting, 98 passing and 92 physical. Five goals, six assists in 24 games. And he's... Just a ridiculous, ridiculous card. Uh, can we go for a player I've actually never used before, never seen before? It is Pizarro, a cam with 91 
pace. He's got also got a 78 shooting, 84 passing, 85 dribbling, 81 defending, and 84 physical. This guy is absolutely ridiculous. I just think he looks so sick. You know, the card design specifically makes him look amazing. Um, he has got high, low, high medium. I thought he had high low. I got it wrong. High medium. If he had four star skill moves, um, I wouldn't care what league he's in. He'd be in my team every single day of the week. He's five for eight, twenty three k. He was pretty excellent when I went and bought him. So I'm not going to complain about that one at all, boys. Uh, we get up into the strikers, the final positions, and the first player we go for is a ninety one rated player. It is team of the season, Gignac the Big Mac, as as Webak does call him. He. He is a brilliant FIFA card. He always has been. I've always loved this guy. And just look at this card. 82 pace, 86 dribbling, 96 shooting, 87 passing, and 90 physical. Six foot two. 63.5K is a bargain for this guy. 105 games played with this with the 11 different users. This guy has played 105 games, scored 90 goals, and got 32 assists, which is fantastic. I can't wait to use him. He looks brilliant he looks absolutely fantastic and obviously the final member of the team is Adu Vargas he does come out of packs as a cam but I went and converted him up to striker he's got himself 84 pace 85 dribbling 82 shooting 77 passing and the four subscribers to go with that he's at 11k as well so he's nice and cheap he is just a FIFA legend I want to see if he's as good as he was back in the day so that's the that that team guys it looks insane it looks you know if Lewis Sal was a special card I'd uh I'd be drooling over this team because it would be so so nice. Um, but you know, unfortunately, I'm not gonna, I'm not a mug. I'm not gonna go for Lewis when he's 90k and 39 pace. I'm not a bit of a mug. So let's go get into a couple of games and see how well the boys perform, specifically Bargas and Gignac. To be fair, I know it's not a video about him, but you know, I think he's gonna be doing insane. I'm gonna go into divisions. Um, division two, I'm in, so it's gonna be a tough division to get into. But let's go get that first opponent and see well how it's so well, see what he's got first, and then see how well we do. Right, boys, first opponent of the video does bring us a very nice-looking BPL, 41212, number two squad. He's got Courtois, Walker, Vertonghen, Inform, Ashbelequeta. He's got Rose. The Scream, um, Fellaini, obviously, isn't really boosted. Herrera, Kante, Fabregas, and Man of Match Account, which is quite an interesting one. And he's got Mane up front with the... Um, that's his Man of the Match card, whatever it is. And then he's got the 88 Diego Costa. So, pretty sick-looking team. Very sick looking team. Let's get into the game and see how well we do. Wow. Within five minutes, Vargas just swings in a dangerous cross. And uh, we nearly got a goal from it. But we end up getting a corner. Um, obviously, Steven Gerrard's going to be taking this. Who else is going to take this corner? But I don't think anyone's there. Nope, no one. No one, unfortunately. Oh, we got Vargas through. Oh, Courtois with a beautiful save with his feet. That's unlucky. We've still got the ball, though. We're piling on the attack. Gignac, the Big Mac, he is through. And he is somehow missed. How was that missed? Oh, man, he's blitzed us. He tried a tap from there. That was brave to try that. Oh, a lovely run by Pizarro. Vargas' pass was lovely. The finish was not. We've been on top. Very on top in this game. Completely dominating him. And then we give the ball away. I'm going to jinx myself. And that's a penalty. How is that a penalty? I jinx myself. Gave the ball away. Said we were doing well. Completely jinxed myself. Steven Gerrard with the foul. Okay, that. Looking at a replay, you can tell that's a penalty. He did take him out. Didn't get the ball. What way is he going to go? Oh, we've saved it. Lovely. Out for a corner. So we're still on the defensive here. And Diego Costa scored from the corner. I might as well just let him score the penalty. It's a big header. Not going to die. It's a great header. But it was annoying. After saving the penalty and doing so well, we've uh, we've still got to concede it. That was an unlucky free kick by Steven Gerrard. 
But like I said in the last video, I suck at, suck at taking him. To sum up that first half, we started off amazingly and we faded away. He scored, he controlled, um, and we're behind. Um, but it's been pretty even. Same, well, same amount of shots on target. Our passing's been a little bit better. Uh, possession's been pretty even. Shot horror, though. Funny, he's got a, a, a yellow card. Shot horror. Using his, uh, well, doing his usual clung, clunky and clumsy thing. And just, well, not elbowing someone in the face. But let's get into the second half. Come out with a win because we need it. Oh, Florenzi's put Vargas through. Lovely chip and a lovely half volley finish for the man of the episode. I have been dominating this person for like 10 minutes. He's had the ball the entire time. We just got one lucky breakaway and uh, a nice finish into the back of the net. And we're back on level terms. Oh, Pizarro somehow kept the ball. And the uh, the rebound is lapped up by Big Mac. That was weird, man. He he tackled me once, nearly tripped over, carried on, nearly. Well, he didn't fall over. He stopped. I don't know what quarter I was doing next. He basically punched the ball to the floor and to get in that feet, and we're we're now in the lead. And this is one of the weirdest games because it's so even, where everything I do cancels out by him, and everything he does is cancelling out by myself. It's weird. Oh, Vargas is through. Oh, Courtois. You need to just get shorter by like two inches because you're too lanky. Oh, Florenzi's in the box. <sighs> Good save by Courtois. Are we keeping it alive? No, we're pushing it out for a corner. He did make subs. I wonder what subs he made. Ramsey. Weird. That was a wasted corner and I think it was just Ramsey brought on for Fellaini which is a really weird sub because Fellaini is a CDM unless he's put Kante there oh man he's pushed through great save by Edison get the ball away that's not what I'm on about oh yes Abate my defence has disappeared Diego Costa is through and he's chipped and missed waste it should never attempt to chip when you've got no defenders in the EU or anything like that that was a complete waste oh you dirty little bastard and Jardel you absolutely beautiful man and Miranda you absolute twat what was that goal why would you stop the ball there like that oh my days Miranda, you useless bastard. And the game ends, and we draw because of that complete bullshit goal. I I can't wait for FIFA 18, I really can't. But I need to come up man of the match. You got one of the assists, um, obviously Miranda got the own goal, and both the goals were scored by the front men, by Vargas and um, by Gignac. And I think we played pretty well in that game. I think that draw is completely unjust, but... What am I going to do about that shitty FIFA, FIFA game, eh? What am I going to do? Let's get a second opponent and, uh, and we'll, we'll win that one, shall we? We'll win that one. Right, boys, game number two. And he comes at us with a decent-looking BPL squad. He's got Footies, Butlin, Footy Small, and Inform Baines, the nominee Bailly. He's got Walker, Inform Chan, uh, one to watch uh, Mane, Inform Lukaku, a centimetre, which is pretty interesting. Uh, Mane, he's got uh, 89, a player of the month, Son, and he's got Alex Hunter playing for Swansea. Um, I haven't seen Swansea before. Oh, he's got a Stoke City Stadium with the annoying diamond on the floor. Oh, this is irritating. Hopefully we come out with a win on this one. So he's just made three subs, taken off Lukaku, Mane and Sam, uh, sorry, Mane and Hunter, and brought on Mertens, Giovinco and Dybala. Bloody wonderful. Oh, but Skulls, he's put Zignac through. He's put him through. The Big Mac has put us 1-0 up within five minutes. Well, five and a half minutes. What a legend. What a guy. What a goal. What a pass by Skulls. He... Such an underrated legend. He's such an underrated legend because he does his stats aren't that good, but that pass was so easy. Gignac was through and an easy outside of the boot finish on his weak foot to put us one nil up within six minutes. 
oh, the pace of Bizarro has beaten Small in. The finish isn't there, but Steven Gerrard can't lap up the rebound. Oh, the dribbling of Vargas. That was so unlucky. Did three players there. We've got a corner. And annoyingly, I've got no left footed players except for Ashley Cole who can swing this in. So I'm going to have to outswing it with Gerrard. And it's landed on Miranda's head. Straight to Butland. Oh, Bizarro is through. Oh, it's just bounced off Baines's heel. Oh, Gignac. Nice over top through ball to Vargas. And he's missed. He The exact same thing we did in the last game. He put it past Courtois. He puts it wide this time. That's irritating. Oh, Vargas through on his weak foot. A lovely finish. Lovely work by uh, Gignac to get him in that position. Those sort of goals. You know, I'm nine times out of ten going to score when I'm in Vargas' position. When I'm in Gignac's position, I'm going to struggle because, well, I, I'm not the best FIFA player, to be honest. As displayed by this defender. But there's Jardel. Oh, that was a lovely ball. And that was an even better save. But the danger is still there. He's gone out to Chan, who was in so much space. That one touch did my defenders. And he is back in the game, in a sense, at 2-1. The banging shot by Can, I'm not going to lie. Um, but that one, literally that there, did my defenders. And that's a top finish. And uh, I've just realised you've got Kante back in a Leicester shirt. Bizarre. We're still winning, but... No, only by one. Right, half time. We're 2-1 up still. That Emre Chan is a monster. On the ball, he's so hard to get off. Pretty even. Literally, like, we've had one extra shot on goal. And in general, we've had we've got the 1% the more possession in, when it goes 50-50. And we've got 1% better passing. So, incredibly, incredibly even. I'm feeling like this guy's going to get another goal back. Which I don't want to happen. Um, I actually want to check something quickly. Is the formation? Did he change it? No, he stuck with it, which is uh, unexpected. I thought he would have changed to a four-one-two-one-two, but I'm expecting him to score. But let's hopefully we can score one or two extra. Oh, I've given the ball away already. Yeah, there's that goal I was expecting. I gave the ball away straight away. He's shushing me, mate. It's the end of FIFA. No one is taking this game seriously. Well, except for this guy. I think he's the only one probably taking it seriously. I've played against in ages. Oh, Vargas has beaten all, all the defence. He's been taken out last man by Bailly. That's... How is that only a yellow? How is that only a yellow? That is a load of bollocks. Oh, Gerard, I could not beat the keeper. That is irritating. Hello, who's that? Ashley Cole. Ashley Cole has just put us in the lead. We're going to shush him back because he did it to us. And I will always retaliate in that sense. But I did not expect Ashley Cole to be there. Obviously, in the melee after the clip, well, the, a poor clearance by the keeper. Um, he was there. And I was actually aiming for Vargas, but ended up getting the ball through to Baye. Oh, sorry, by inter intercepted, which gave Cole a chance to run forward. Well, we're in the lead. That's all we care about, really, isn't it? I don't care who scores. Oh, Vargas is through. Bailly's on him, though. One of the most irritating foot players to play against on this game is Bailly. I don't know what's going on here. The ball's going absolutely everywhere. And Gignac's hit the outside of the post. He's hit, he hit the outside of the post. I don't know how that's happened. It's 96 shooting. He should be sinking that every single day. I, I would love to see him shush me down the pitch. And he can't because it's offside. That Juvinko is a little shit though to play against in this game. It's so hard to get the ball off him. <laughs> Gignac with a lovely goal. I'm going to shush him again just because it's funny. And this guy's a bit of a bell end. Abate with a triple tap cross. The defender missed the ball. 
the keeper missed the ball and Gignac literally turned round and put the ball into an empty net. That was a lovely cross and that was such an easy touch. Oh, we're back to a two goal, uh, two goal gap, which is nice. Oh, he's got one back. He's gone and got one back with Hyun Min Sun. He's going to still shush me. I don't understand people that shush when they're losing. I don't understand that, but he's, he's going to shush me. He's going to do the big man dance. And he's going to be losing 4-3 still because, well, I'm better than him. That's, that's the, simple, the simple of it. I'm better than him. Um, There's a good turn, a good finish by, by, by Sun, but... I'm better than him. <laughs> and there is the proof that I'm better than him. He loses 4-3. So he shushes me for no damn reason. Guinea comes out with man of match with two goals and two assists. I know it was about Vargas, but this game was about Guinea. Then again, there is what? Um, I can't even remember what rate they are. I think there's like 10 rating difference. So I had to expect that gap. Pretty even game. Pretty decent team. Not too bad. Not too bad. So boys, that was the team. It played really, really well. It was, a, it was a great team. It had a very solid points. Had some lackluster points. Miranda, after that stupid fuck up. I actually messaged a guy about that and just said, um, what even was that own goal? And he just said, so unlucky. It's because it was. It was completely bollocks that that went in. But unfortunately, there is nothing I can do about it. Ederson was pretty decent. The foot birthday of Arte was a great upgrade, though, to go with him and uh, Ashley Cole played really well on the flanks. Um, so the centre backs weren't too bad. They were pretty solid. Midfield was decent, nice passes throughout. Um, Florenzi did help out with the defence as well, which is what I needed. Pizarro um, didn't contribute and I couldn't actually utilise his pace whatsoever because he was always in a position where he was just surrounded by players. So there was no way for me to utilise his pace. Maybe if I played him in a 4 1 2 1 2 wide, playing as a wide centre mid, or 4 2 3 1, he might have got a little bit more roam, but unfortunately. That was not the case. Um, strikers, three goals, two assists for Gignac. He was insane. 91 rated, so there is 10 ratings difference between them. And then Vargas did come up with two goals in two games, which isn't too bad. It's a goal a game. It's what you want in football. You know, you want to try and match as many goals as you play games. Um, so he played really well. He, you know, he, It felt like he didn't miss a beat when it comes to playing with him and compared back until the FIFA 12, FIFA 13, FIFA 14 kind of times. Um, he, he hasn't missed a beat. He was insane. So I would... Recommend him to, to give him a try, you know, it's in the FIFA now, there's a few cards out, I recommend trying this entire team, you know, take a screenshot, make this team, if you haven't got Miranda, go for his normal one, if you haven't got Florenzi, go for De Rossi, or go for El Shawi, if you've got his, you can go get his foot, uh, 84 foot birthday card, but that has been a video boys, I hope you've all enjoyed, as always, links down in the description below, in uh, to Twitter and Instagram, go down there, drop me a follow, drop a like on the video, and drop a sub if you're new around here, until next time guys, have an amazing day, and I'll see you all later. Bye.